guys today we're eating soup celery soup and yeah let's let's just do it mild celery with a hint of nutmeg this classy creamy soup makes a perfect starter well i think i'm just going to do it as a main but yeah I have no idea. I think I forgot already forgot some things, but let's let's just see. It says it gives a cook's tip. If you do not have a blender or food processor, pass the soup through a metal sieve, pressing the cooked vegetables through with the back of a spoon. Well I've got one of those, but it's upstairs, so one of the things I forgot to get. Anyway, break the head of the celery into stalks and wash thoroughly. The true Anyway, trim the root ends, chop the stalks and leaves and put them into a large saucepan. So I've got them in the water still, so the leaves are in a large pan. And then we'll have a chop. Do I have to put in? I'm going to wait with putting it on the stove for a moment. I don't think I have, have ever eaten celery soup. I've had some strange soups, but not. I had lettuce soup. My mom made lettuce soup once. That was well, very tasty, but also very strange. That. But yeah, I think I said it in the last video or the one before that. One of the things, the fun things about these videos is trying all these new things that I never would have thought of before or probably not would have picked in a restaurant because, well, you pay good money often in a restaurant for a dish. I had that a few weeks ago. I picked a dish. And it didn't turn out exactly what I thought it would be. So, yeah. yeah. It happens sometimes, but most of the times I like to stick to what I know. But sometimes I'm feeling adventurous in what I've choose. Anyway, add chopped onion. I've got onion and garlic, parsley. Oh, yeah, bay leaves. I've got bay leaf. All in here. We get the bay leaf that is here. Oh, almost all my bay leaves done. Time. I, this is just like the other recipe with the chicken. Or, well, not the chicken, with stuffing for the chicken. I don't, still don't have fresh thyme. So I'm going to use it, like, I don't know, this much. <laughs> it's a bit feeling. And then, and just enough water to cover. So, let's see. That's a half a liter. And that's one liter. And a quarter of a liter. So, bring to a boil and simmer the vegetables uncovered over gentle heat for 35 minutes. So, yeah. I'm going to clean my board, get the 
blender and everything else I need. Let me put on the lid for now. And then, yeah, you'll see me after 40 minutes because well, it still has to boil, right? So, 40 minutes on the clock. Forty minutes. See you soon. Hey guys. So I've read a bit in the book. Next steps. And it said I needed to make a roux. The only problem is, is I don't have a what's that? like one of those pans that you can heat up milk in and so for small of pans. I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm making a roux right now. <laughs> so in the meantime, this, the soup is nearly done. It, I think it was just, I mean, ten minutes have passed since I pressed stop. So there's a flame. I've got some butter. It said. Two tablespoons, so I think I have of this. About two tablespoons. And then I need a new tablespoon for the flour. But this has to not work. And I've got my new non scratchable. Anyway, so yeah. It says in a clean saucepan, bring the semi skim milk to the boil, knead the butter and the flour together to make a roux, and whisk into the hot milk until thickened. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I need to cook that for 10 minutes. So, I'm not sure how. I think I'm just going to film it and not speak anymore. So, to make, make it a bit shorter. Sweet and short. That's what we're always trying, but never accomplish. <laughs> By the way, before I start, stop, start, stop talking. My wall is a bit empty. That one is still full, but I'm working on some decorations. I have some. I, I have an idea in my head, but it's going to take a while, I think. But I already cleaned up that wall and I worked on that wall but yeah hopefully within the next week or two but yeah stay tuned for that Okay, one more minute, or while well, the beeper can go off at any second now. So, I've got the room. That was the beeper. Let me see. Oh, pour into the celery mixture and cook for five minutes. So, I was too quick with everything. So, well, let's pour this. Oh, this is this is so strange. Where's my and then 
I thought about blending or putting it through a sieve first, but I thought we are going to blend it, so I'm very comfortable doing it this. This has to simmer for five more minutes. And then we'll do the blending. Five minutes. Another five minutes done. And now I think we're finally onto the blending part. Remove the bay leaves and thyme. Well, thyme is impossible. Use a ladle, spoon in the soup, spoon the soup into a blender or food processor. And process for one minute until smooth. Return to a clean saucepan and season well. Okay, so let me see what's the smartest way to do this. Doing it like this would make less of a mess, but I'm not sure now. Oh, wait, I forgot to. <laughs> Where's the bay leaf? Oh, here. I thought it, I think I saw it just sign up. I know I can put this thing and get it off, but it's such a, I don't know. I was so happy I it was on there. So no, I think I lost my baby. It's here. Oof. Oof. Almost lost it again. Oh, I have too much. I have to do it in two batches because it's it's not fitting. This is full. So, yeah, um, I'm pausing it for a second, and then I'm, I'm going to get that because otherwise I think I will every have everything under the soup. So here I was thinking I was looking for a black one, and I had to get a clear thing, I guess. So, yeah. I don't have to do. Don't have. Should so go so far. Just slow and steady. I think. Because yeah, there were almost there were no bits in the thing. So. I 
have to make a spoon here, see if this is... There are a lot of pieces in here still, so I think I'm going to empty it out a bit. Easy. And then... Making soup was such a thing. Let me put this on the top. Maybe I should put it where we sick anyway. Because I don't think it's nice to have all those strings from the So it was celery. I'm making celery soup. <laughs> so and who thought soup making soup could be such a mess? I think this is a soup that I have to try again someday because I'm, there's nothing that really says about sifting but see this is I'm always struggling with that and then with this one Let's blend that. No, this one has the face mark, me, and then like that. Okay, I think I'm just going to finish this, and then, well, maybe this, this looks, I don't know. I think I'm going to sift the whole thing, just make it. I'm going to finish this and then we'll taste it because this is going to take forever, I think. So when I'm done, I'll show you my end product and then we'll see what it tastes like because this. Okay, I think earlier I was too quick because I blended it for a long time and I think I'm okay. So the pulp is in the soup too okay there's one last step step five stir in the nutmeg and beaten egg yolk bring almost to the boil point then served garnish with parsley leaves parsley leaves and croutons so i've got some nutmeg no muscat put it I don't know how much 
Oh, my kitchen is the pinch. There's a pinch. My my kitchen is absolutely dirty. I think I need a professional cleaner. Oh, I would love that. One time, once every year, for a professional cleaner in my kitchen. Only the kitchen, the rest of the house isn't necessary. So, yeah, this is. And a roux for soup. I never did that before, I think. And a beaten egg yolk. The fact that I have this much. What do you call it? Dirty dishes for a soup. When I make soup, it's just a one pan. It smells like the soup my mom made. We tell us talking about the lettuce soup. But I put raw air yolk in this, but let's. Oh, that needs so much muscle. Maybe if the, let me know if you think it's a good idea. I've I've got some bacon left from the stuffing recipe I did. Maybe together with the croutons. Mm. Neil needs so much muscles. Yeah. It's a very tasty soup. Now that, that there is enough salt in here. But Will I make? I don't think I'm, I will ever make this again. Because the dirty dishes, the, the way. Well, I have to be honest, some things were my fault. But. Well, okay. Maybe I will make this again. Now I know what I did. Well, no, I don't want to say wrong. Because in the end, we've got a pretty tasty soup. But I know how my blender works better <laughs> than last time, than when I started. I need a better pan for the roux. But yeah. Some croutons, some parsley. I think this is a nice starter, like the book said. Is that a starter, right? Yeah, perfect starter. So I agree with that. Anyway, I have no idea how this video is going to turn out by now. So yeah, it's going to be a hassle to edit. I think this one. Anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, I hope to see you next time.